people of the Nigerian Nigerian get pleasure bringing you political news in our channel and comment. The MPP government has successfully renewed the National Health Insurance Program, which was previously crippled by MPC. Please watch. Health insurance app, ever our phone, so that's Apple Store, any Play Store. Now we register with health insurance, no one renew health insurance. Ah, a band then I'm buying near me FSA, a bomb by Ghanaian. And you know, 7 December, we may enter about my Al Haji Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, not on to one in my pa or my Ghana. Previously, this health insurance program was crippled by the government and now it has come to existence again, just in this present government. And just Dr. Bawamia's intervention, assessing the healthcare, and it has become significantly easy for everyone to go through due to digitalization. It is very easy for everyone to log in, register, and go through all these crucial aspects without any form of difficulties on um, anything. And according to him, we know that this thing was really crippled. It was not really working well when John Hammer was on seat. And based on everything that has been going on now, you've seen it that it is actually working well. This is the uh, videos of so many or one of the projects of this present government. Here, the government is trying to build a university of science, health science, for the country of Ghana. And this one is presently located at one of the uh, regions in Ghana, which is Vota region in Ho. But a major boost for us has been the China Phase 2 project, which is uh, a donation or a grant from the government of uh, China uh, to the government of Ghana, which was made available to us here at UHAS through a lot of negotiations and backroom discussions, which I won't get into the details now but the, the end of the story is that we have a, a 60 million dollar facility which is coming up very nicely and it is putting up the offices for a school of nursing and midwifery which is our biggest school as far as numbers are concerned uh, this is a three years project. It's uh, uh, donated by the Chinese government. We are, we are, we are building a uh, central administrative building. That's offices for the VCs and higher, high, higher management. That's mainly offices and conference rooms. And uh, the other building is a nursery and, uh, uh, and midway free school, school building. It uh, consists of three buildings. One is a, a teaching block, like uh, where we are staying. The other one is skills lab and also offices is for the school management the deans and the other lecturers this is for the uh, nursery and midwifery school yeah it's here we are staying this area this is the office building for the school this is the kitchen area this is the skills lab yeah this is a safe from the courtyard the view from the inside the courtyard this photo is a this picture is about the uh, central administrative that means in the future the vc and other directors the office will be here and uh, other conference rooms uh, that one is in construction but for the for this area we've done most of the work 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is a 200 seaters classroom. Uh, this is a tour of the building or a project uh, this present government commenced. And so far, so good. You've seen how far they've gone. This particular building is the University of Health and Allied Science project in a voter in voter region. And it's just the first phase of the project that was funded by the Chinese government through this development agency. And so far, so good. It has gone so far, and you are seeing the massive uh, uh, infrastructures already, the buildings and every other thing that will help this thing work out in Ghana. And so far, it is one of the biggest school of nursing and mid uh, midwifery in Ghana. This side will be the, the stage for the teacher. They have the projector and uh, uh, his laptop and a speaker. So he will speak to the students. This this office can provide uh, the seats for 200, over 200 students. We have four big classrooms like this in this building. Uh, and uh, uh, that side we have seen that, that is uh, 50 seaters and uh, that side we also have 100 seaters in summary in summary we can provide uh, seats for 2400 in total if we see the back we can see they are working on the central administrative block because the rock is too hard so we we are breaking the rock over one year now and it already reaches the end. So the foundation work has started and uh, within six six months, I think we are going to see the structure rises up. Yeah. So it has the dean's office, offices for the faculty, conference rooms, uh, library, and everything that a typical school should have. But in addition to that, we have a teaching block. The teaching block can seat about 2,400 students at a go. 2,400 students can be seated at a go. There are four lecture theaters that seat 200 students each. And there are many other lecture theaters that seat 100 students each. And there are only two lecture theaters that seat 50 students. So, this is a game. This project is inclusive of so many things, yes, like the laboratories, the library classroom blocks, um, auditorium, students' activity centers, cafeterias, school basic and material, uh, biometric service, all of them under Prof. Atamios. And according to them, the form provided for this was just 16 million US dollars. And so far, so good. You've seen how far it has gone and is bringing so much smile to the people of Vota in every other way. As at it is now, this school, if this school will not just bring development, it will bring massive development because it will cause so much uh, happiness to these people. They will have to bring employment in the land and so many ways, like every other people will have to benefit from those changer as far as our uh, teaching infrastructure is concerned then there is a skills lab a state-of-the-art skills lab which uh, presents the opportunity for simulation of all kinds of conditions for training all our health professionals so it is not just for the nurses but for the medical students for our uh, students in the School of Allied Health Sciences, uh, nursing students, all our health students are going to have a state-of-the-art simulation laboratory uh, where they can study and uh, have practical opportunities to see what different uh, presentations some patients can come with. So, for instance, you can have a simulation of a patient with pneumonia. And, uh, so you go to the mannequins and there will be a simulation where you can listen to the, the chest and hear 
all the sounds that you can listen to the heart of a patient to tell you all kinds of heart diseases that could present and it's, it's a state of the art so we are making considerable progress and then finally we have the the central administration of the university so we're going to have the offices of the vice chancellor and his administrative setup all our directorates would have their offices there the offices of the registrar directorate of academic affairs human resources the audit the uh, finance directorate works and fiscal development our legal counsel everybody is catered for in that building so for me that is the game changer for you us.